Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'm making smothered chicken. This is a recipe that I found on Pinterest and as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by cooking up a half a pound of bacon. And it's really important to cook your own bacon here because you're gonna use that bacon fat to cook the rest of your ingredients. Okay, so while my bacon is cooking, let's work on our chicken. I am using this Jane's Crazy Salt. I really love it, crazy mixed up salt. It has salt, of course, but then it also has all different types of herbs and garlic in there. So I'm just gonna season my chicken with that. Use whatever you'd like, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, you name it, whatever you'd prefer. Okay, so once you have your chicken seasoned the way you'd like, you're gonna take a half a cup of flour, put it in a plastic bag, and then you're gonna coat your chicken. So now I've removed that cooked bacon from the pan, and I'm gonna put my chicken uh, tenderloin in the pan, and then I'm just gonna lightly brown it on each side. I'm not cooking it, I just want a nice light brown color. Now to the very same pan that I just took the chicken out of, I am adding a medium sliced onion. Just gonna cook the onion for about five minutes until it, or until it softens up a little bit. Okay, so while my onions are cooking away, I am going to add this can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup to my bowl. And then I'm gonna add one can of water to that. Now, if you can't find cream of chicken and mushroom soup, you can use either cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, whatever cream soup you prefer. And now I'm just gonna add those sauteed onions right on top of that chicken. And then I'm gonna pour the soup mixture right on top. I'm gonna pop this into my oven my preheated oven, preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna bake this chicken for about half an hour or until it's cooked through. Okay, so I took the casserole out of the oven. Now I'm adding this Italian cheese blend, and it's the entire packet, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it right on top. And next, I'm gonna take that crumbled bacon and sprinkle it right on top of the cheese. And then I'm gonna pop this back into the oven for about 10, 15 minutes or until that cheese is nice and bubbly. Okay, so here is the casserole and here it is all plated up, serving it over some white rice. It would also be really good over some mashed potatoes. Got a green veggie on the side, got my sauteed Brussels sprouts. This is such a quick and easy, savory dinner. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. And if you haven't joined our YouTube family, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.